Sergio, what do you make of this? A disgrace. We've had hours and hours of speeches by none other than church leaders, all of them backing the communists. So, what did you do? Richard, I have a family to think about. You've said nothing? Richard, this is shameful. So many of the pastors are afraid to take a stand for God. You must wipe the shame of the face of Christ by setting things right. If I do, I may be arrested and you may end up without a husband. This is not a time for any of us to be cowards. Perfect. Here he comes to give his speech. Today, we as ministers are being asked to work with our new government for the good of our country. Excellent. But how can we respect a government that denies the existence of God, what? denies us the reading of the Bible, and shuts down the places in which we meet to worship? Such a government deserves not our support, but our pity and our disdain. Silence. Shame on the cowardice that does not stand and defend our God. The people of Romania need us now more than ever. It is for God that this church was built. It is for God! Not disappointing, did you but say? Colonel, Colonel, wait! Richard, you have said what many of us have not dared say, but now you have riled the beast. You must leave Romania at once. Sergei, it is when the wolf approaches that the shepherd must turn to face it, not to flee. Silence! But people need us in Romania, and in Romania we shall stay. He has too much influence with the people. We can take care of that. Just say the word. No, that would only make matters worse. Look at them, so easily swayed. No, I think Wurmram can be put to use. If he is not swayed by reason, we have other means of persuasion. You did the right thing. And there is no turning back.